when you are in a build phase and a surplus, and we talked about, you know, nutrition being the driving force for fat loss during, you know, a cut or a prep, when it comes to being in a surplus, what, how long do you actually need to be in a surplus to make a significant amount of change? So uh, again, we actually, we actually have a module on this. Um, now, if you look in the research literature, there's no studies that are going to be able to tell you this. It, it, they just simply do not exist. Yeah. Um, what I can say is that a build phase of less than 12 weeks is probably not worthwhile. Um, you're just, especially if, yeah. if somebody is, then, and you might as well extend that. The more trained somebody is, uh, the longer you can extend that. Now, you can do non-linear non -linear, um, sort of dieting like I used to do where I do like eight weeks in a surplus and two weeks in a deficit and that sort of thing. But over the course of those 10 week, that 10 week block, I was overall in a surplus, right? So you can do yeah. things like that. Um, I don't usually do it with most clients just because um, uh, people end up, again, it's like chasing rabbits a lot of times. Um, I, I, what I tend to do yeah. now is I'll, I'll just really slowly increase calories over time. If somebody starts getting really uncomfortable with their body fat, we may do a shortcut in order to just let them feel a little bit more comfortable and then continue the build phase. And what tends to happen really interestingly is if somebody just stays at a certain level of body fat, they might, they might be uncomfortable with it at first. And again, like I, I don't let any of my clients get to the point where it's like, oh, whoa, what happened to you, right? Um, and if you're, quite frankly, if you're in a controlled calorie surplus, like a small surplus, like a 10% you know, surplus, that's just not going to happen because what's going to happen before you'd ever gain the amount of body fat that would put you in a holy crap, like what happened to you sort of situation is your yeah. total daily energy expenditure is going to adjust to that anyway. Anybody who's ever tried to do, uh, there's a few people out there who said, well, I'm going to do an ultra lean gaining phase. I'm just going to add 100 calories on top of my maintenance and I'll just, you know, I'll gain like, like a half kilo or a pound a month, right? Well, what happens? Well, either you gain absolutely nothing or you gain a little bit and then you gain nothing, right? Like you just, you tend to teeter yeah. out pretty quickly. So... Again, that's just not going to happen by accident. What tends to happen and where people really go wrong during building phases is they get frustrated with the fact that the scale doesn't move or it doesn't move, doesn't move, doesn't move, and then they boom, gain a kilo or two pounds. Um, that's very normal, by the way. That's just how things go. Fat loss is the same way. Um, and so people tend to just go get frustrated and just go, well, I'm, I'm so frustrated with this. I'm just going to... I'm just going to, you know, get big, eat big, get big. And, uh, you know, try, they figure, I guess, well, I'm going to try and condense a year long, uh, gaining phase into about 16 weeks, you know? And so they gain a yeah. bunch of excess body fat and then they say, oh, see bulking doesn't work. And it's like, no bulking yeah. the way you did it doesn't work because you weren't patient. <laughs> um, and that's yeah. honestly, I think the best trait that a competitor can have is quite frankly, patience. And a lot of people don't have that. And my absolute best clients and the clients that have done the best consistently are those who do not get hung up on one day or one week. They look at the overall picture and they act according to that. 